Hi guys, so today I'm going to talk about the Tassavaria Victor Rider. This is a Tassavaria is derived from the word Tacitus bellis, which is also a graptopetalum. Uh, it's another word for graptopetalum, but this is a combination of uh, Graptopetalum and an Echeveria. Well, when I purchased it last year at the um, Cactus and Succulent Society sale in San Francisco, it was so pretty. It was a pretty red, like the first uh, pictures that you saw. But then it looks like the mealybugs got to it, and then it just started to give it scars and um, just it was just struggling so so badly and it did not want to uh, to grow and then the little babies were falling out and stuff so um, I decided to remove all the the soil which I should have done in the first place but I didn't and that was my bad um, but then I found that there's like little babies growing in there so I got rid of all the soil from the original uh, planting plant planter and then I re I just uh, sprayed it with water and then I dipped it in a solution of um, hydrogen peroxide and water and hope in hopes upon hopes that I can save this plant because it looks like it's about to die so I dried the the roots and then repotted it in its new pot and I set it in a shady shady area of my garden and just let it sit there for three days and then I started watering it a little bit at a time not too much because I've read that this particular plant is a very difficult plant to keep alive so but so far weeks later here she is and she looks like she is recovering and pushing out a whole a lot of leaves but the scarring is still there and I don't really know what's causing the scarring and I've read that it could be the sun or mealybugs but I haven't seen any mealybugs which is make which makes me really happy because um, it looks like this plant is going to recover and the reason why it's not red is because in the beginning it was so stressed that you know it was turning red and it was probably getting so much sun and drying up but since I had now taken all the soil out it's now in fresh soil and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep feeding it um, worm castings and then sooner or later I'm going when it's really nice and strong I'm going to set her out there in the sunshine give it really really lots of hot sun and then she's gonna turn red again and hopefully I can get more babies out of her because this plant right here is a very very rare one I haven't seen a lot of stuff that's about it on the internet so I'm really hoping that she is going to recover soon and that's my hope keep your fingers crossed for me and as always if you like this video please smash the like button share 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 comment and click the subscribe button so you don't miss out and remember XOXO